Martin, uh, Mr. Khrushchev, to be specific about some of the things that he has proposed, he has suggested, he has put a deadline on the next president, in effect, by saying that he will wait on Berlin for six to eight months. Now, President Eisenhower said he would not go to a summit conference if there were a deadline put on Berlin, and Mr. Khrushchev seems, in effect, to have done this to the next president. If you are that next president, would you go to the summit under those conditions? Well, that's a very iffy president, a uh, very iffy question, and I'm not going to say what I would do if I happen to be here or there. I would uh, like to say that it's not up to Mr. Khrushchev to tell us in what conditions uh, uh, we meet with the leaders of the world. And uh, I, I think that uh, Mr. Khrushchev is uh, uh, already uh, putting his nose in the affairs of this country to an extent that uh, is not welcome. Do you believe he's made a campaign issue of the fact that negotiating with the Russians, is, uh, that the Democrats cannot really advocate negotiations with the Russians for fear that uh, they will seem to be soft on communism? No, I don't think there's any pro-Khrushchev party in this country. Uh, I think that uh, whoever the American president may be, whether it's a Democratic president or a Republican president, the people of this country are going to support him. What we're interested in is American solidarity. And Mr. Khrushchev uh, might as well know here and now that he is not going to divide America. Uh, Senator Jack Kennedy of Massachusetts has won every primary uh, in which he's entered. He's won them in a breeze. Does this entitle him? Senator Kennedy is a very. Does this entitle him? Let young me young finish man. my question. Does this entitle him to the Democratic presidential nomination? Well, I I wouldn't think that we would want to nominate our president on the basis of what. Uh, four states or five states or six states or eight states might say in a limited uh, primary system where only a few people participate. I think uh, Senator Kennedy is a very attractive and able young man, and I think he's uh, demo demonstrated beyond the peradventure of a doubt that uh, uh, he uh, can carry a message to the people, and uh, he has effectively uh, uh, brought to uh, uh, to us the information that Kennedy can beat uh, uh, Humphrey in West Virginia and Kennedy can beat uh, Morse in, in Oregon. But uh, I think that uh, we're going to have uh, much more to the nomination and a great deal more to the election than a limited primary system in West Virginia or Oregon and there are going to be other candidates other than Senator Humphrey and Senator Morse. Senator, Senator, you supported him in 1956 when he ran briefly for vice president. Will you support him for the nomination this year? I will support Senator Kennedy for any office which the Democratic Party nominates him for. Sen Senator, uh, how about before the nomination, sir? Well, I, I, I haven't uh, made an announcement uh, in that regard as yet. Well, if, if, if you happen to win the nomination, would he be an acceptable running mate with, uh, with you? Uh, Senator Kennedy would be acceptable to me as president or vice president or any position of trust and responsibility in the Democratic Party, as would uh, the other announced uh, candidates. Senator, Senator, uh, I one refer more. specifically to my able friend, Stuart Symington, uh, uh, who I think would make a good president or a good vice president or would occupy with distinction any post in the cabinet. Senator, uh, if Senator Kennedy came to you as the nominee and asked Let's you to get be off his... this stuff, Mr. And Senator, asked you, you know to be... I'm, I'm asking you a question. And first, if if he asked you to be his vice presidential running mate, would you accept? First, I'm not going to answer an iffy question. I doubt that anyone would come to me and ask me. I think that's a matter for the Democratic National Convention to determine who they want. I don't think it's a matter for one individual to determine. Uh, I would say this, that I have never run away from uh, any responsibility that I thought uh, I should discharge in the national interest. I do not know what circumstances will be when we meet at the convention in uh, July, but uh, uh, after Congress has concluded, I will decide whether I think it is uh, uh, in the national interest uh, uh, for me to make an announcement, and if I do, I will make it forthrightly and clearly and let the uh, delegates to the convention determine whether they would like to nominate me for president or not.